Most of us know where we're going or how we're going to get to work tomorrow or get to the store and then get back home. But when you live on an island, that ride you likely have to depend on is a ferry. And right now, the state ferries on Penobscot Bay are having a serious staffing problem. That has meant, in some cases, scheduled ferry runs are being canceled. And as New Center Maine's John Carrigan reports, it's just the latest big challenge for the Maine Department of Transportation. A ferry may be just a boat, but for those living on islands, it's basically a moving bridge, their lifeline to the mainland. And when ferry runs are suddenly canceled, it is an annoyance at least. But they're pretty good at letting you know it's going to happen. Yeah. So you can kind of plan unless you're in line. The line for the Islesboro Ferry was not canceled today, but Islesboro, Vinyl Haven and North Haven have had 29 ferry runs canceled between early May and the 4th of July and more since. Paul Merrill of the Maine DOT says they expect as many as 20 runs to Islesboro to be canceled this week. There is a widespread sh uh, shortage of mariners who are, uh, you know, available to do this work. And that is the problem. The Maine DOT, which operates the ferry service, doesn't have enough qualified crew members. We can't just take somebody who's on a road crew and, and say, hey, you're, today you're staffing the ferry. Um, it's, it, it wouldn't be safe, it wouldn't be legal. Islesboro Town Manager Janet Anderson says some people get angry. I appreciate how everyone feels and are bothered by them, especially truckers and people go off every day. You know, it is, but I mean, I've heard about it from Vinyl Haven, North Haven. It's been going on there, and they have a lot fewer trips than we have. Paul Merrill of the Maine DOT says they're trying everything they can to attract new workers to the ferry service. But the able-bodied and ordinary seaman positions are tough to fill. He says pay is an issue, and that's dictated by the union contract. But otherwise, like just about every business in Maine, they continue to struggle to find enough workers. Merrill says they currently have just 29 of those seamen positions. They are working now to hire nine more. He says some retirees have stepped in to help out, but they simply need more people. And in some cases, we are one sick call away from not having a crew to staff a ferry run. And when that happens, we do have to cancel. We don't like doing that. It is the last thing we want to do. Until they find those new hires, Islanders may simply need to stock up and plan ahead even more than they already do. On Islesboro, Don Carrigan, New Center, Maine.